Hey everyone, welcome to Jotform. My name is Kimberly and today I'm going to be making a form to house my stock. Now keep in mind there are companies out there that do not allow the public display of your stock. So Jotform is a perfect alternative to house your stock so that way you can send your link to the forum one-on-one -on -one and still remain in compliance. So if you're needing help building a form for your inventory, let's jump to the dashboard. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to that green button, create a form, and we can start from scratch. We can use a template or we can import from form. First thing I wanna do is I wanna show you some other forms that Jotform does have that houses inventory. So I'm gonna go up to the search templates and I'm gonna search for Color Street. So you can see there's already a ton of templates pre-made by other Jotform users that you can use yourself. But for today, I'm gonna to go back and I'm going to choose Start From Scratch and the classic form. So I'm gonna go ahead and rename this my stock. I'm gonna choose properties and I'm gonna make it into the center. Perfect. All right, so what we're gonna to wanna to do is over in the top left where it says Add Form Element, we're gonna to wanna to go to the widgets and there's lots of different ways that you can do this. You could actually type in inventory and you can see there's an inventory widget. But for today, I'm going to use the gift registry. Now you can see there's two, there's gift registry and there's quantity gift registry and quantity gift registry is what we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that to bring it in. All right, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and change this top part. And then over here on the right, we already have the widget settings open, and this is going to be key. So you can see the item one, and there's 10 available, it matches perfectly over here, item one, 10 available. And you can even like down here, item number four, you can have unlimited quantity. The unlimited quantity is actually really nice if you're using this for a generic order form instead of for your stock. But for this, I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna edit a few of these to make them my own. All right, so one thing to keep in mind is this has to be perfect within those parentheses. You can see right here, I put the wrong one, so it's not going to show correctly. So make sure that you have the correct one. So now it's updated, it says I have nine available. Perfect. So something else that you can do is if you have a lot of stock and you want to put it in specific categories, you can come back over to basic and you can scroll down to section collapse. It's going to look expanded here, but whenever you send the form, it's actually going to be collapsed. So if we click on properties, you can see the section visibility says that it is hidden, which means it's going to be collapsed, but the button is visible. So they can click on the button to expand it. So I'm going to go ahead and change this. All right, now let's say we have maybe another section that we want to include. We can go ahead and duplicate this field, bring it down, and then we can also duplicate this one as well. That means it's gonna be a little bit easier on us. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this to room sprays. Then we can come to the widget settings and we can change anything that we need to fit what is correct in our stock. So I'm just gonna change these. The only thing that's really left is the pertinent information that we need from people. So we can go ahead and get their full name, their address, where should we ship their goodies. And then one thing I'm going to want to know is how are they going to want to pay? And then for the options, do PayPal, Venmo. And of course, Dropform has 30 plus payment integrations that we can use as well. And one thing to keep in mind is this information is now below this collapsible section. So what we need to do is come back over here to the section collapse and bring it right here so that way it knows that this is a different section. So we're gonna go ahead and change this to personal information. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the properties and how it says hidden or visible. I wanna go ahead and make that visible. And I think we are good to go. So let's go up to publish. Let's take a peek at what this looks like in real life. All right, there we go. So this shows a perfect example of the collapsed versus expandable section. So you can see we did the personal information as expanded or visible instead of hidden. So I'm gonna go back up. Let's go ahead and play with this. I'm gonna go ahead and say I want two of these and three of these. And then I'm gonna come down here to room sprays. I'm gonna say I want one of these. Then I'll go ahead and fill out the personal information. We'll hit submit and we'll take a look at that submission. All right, so submission has been sent. Let's jump back over. And in the top left where it says form builder, I'm gonna go ahead and click on tables. That's going to take me to my submissions. 
All right, so we can see which pieces of our stock this person wants, where we should ship it, and how they want to pay. Now, let's go back to that form, the form builder, and I can show you where those numbers are now different. So this is a live form, right? So as soon as someone says they want something and they submit the form, the numbers update. All right, perfect. You can see that those numbers updated. It used to be 12, now it's 10. So if you guys have any questions about how to make your own inventory sheet or keeping track of your stock, put it down below in the comments and I will see you later.